Hello and welcome to Chicagoland Speedway. We are here in the ARCA car, as seems to be <laughs> the, often the case with the K5 Championship and this just being my favorite car on iRacing. Um, <laughs> it's all I ever seem to race lately. I'll try to get a little more variety in, but for now I'm excited for this race because I really like Chicagoland as well, in addition to just really enjoying the ARCA car. So we have a very strong field here today. It is the first race of the week, so we've got a lot of familiar names in here and a 4.2k strike the field. So that's pretty wild. I'm gonna try my best to get a good qualifying effort in here. Sent some good luck messages to a couple of guys like Gavin's in here, both Gavin's actually, Rob Chan and uh, Lemons. So. Sent them some good luck. Mike Little is in here as well. So lots of guys that we've raced before. Hmm. Feels a little bit tighter than maybe than practice, unless I just overdrove that a little bit much. Fortunately, I found that the low line was actually a little bit faster, I think. Than the high line. Of course, with the changing track conditions, maybe that's no longer the case. I don't know. We're going to find out, I think. Hmm. Not the greatest qualifying so far. It's got me a little bit concerned. I think I'm driving a little bit nervous, <laughs> not going being as aggressive as I might need to be, but this should be a little bit better. 162. Oh boy, just barely. So we might have to move forward a little bit, but uh, not too concerned, because like I said, 4.2 strength of field is pretty darn fierce competition. So 310s are the fastest guys are getting. I never could reach quite up there in practice. This is about where I am at the moment on speed. Got guys like Larry Pace, Justin Yee's in here as well. Uh, guys that are going to just be crazy fast. Number eight, I don't recognize the name, but he sure did get a good lap in on pole right now. I'm wondering if the high line in these track conditions would have actually been better. Or maybe like a one and two high line and then a low line three and four or something. Not sure. Tires, of course, are a little more worn now, so it's hard to compare what we're getting now compared to what I actually got at the start, but. Do my best. I'll try to save a little bit of tire, maybe. Probably gonna do a full lift, arc it into the corner, and then get on the gas pretty good and try to get some rotation on the throttle midway through the corner so that way I'm on the right rear. It's kind of the plan right now. So, kind of like a big lift, back onto the gas pretty soon, and then driving through the rest of the corner on the edge. So that way I'm kind of yawing it out and getting on the right way. That's kind of what I'm aiming for at the moment. Is that the right way to do it? I don't know. First race of the week. Haven't watched anyone do it. That's just my initial assumption. The Maybe the right way to go about it. So. Alright. We have P11. Gavin, 15th. My 14th. Nadowski, 9th. I mean, you can see it all. Everybody in here. Shane's in here as well. Oh, I didn't even see him. So. Alright, hopefully going to be a good one. Which my settings are all correct. They are. I guess I can move this back. Nah, we're not going to use brake, are we? Oh, well. I mean, I don't think we're going to use brake, but just in case, I'll put that back. I guess maybe it, it could get tight enough. You need to use a tap brake on entry, so I guess I'll go ahead and put that all the way back, which is how I would want it if the brakes were necessary. 
who knows, maybe lap 33 or something. I'll be glad I did that. Starting behind uh, Lewandowski is not a terrible place to start. You can watch what he's doing. He's been on iRacing since basically the beginning. So he has been around the block a few times, knows his way around these tracks. Usually finishes up uh, near the front for a reason. So. Good luck, everybody. Let's have some fun. Yeah. So he's a good, good person to watch. Yeah, any last lap. Right. Right. Well, it'll be a good one. Good luck, guys. Glad to be out of Atlanta. I think I'm going to hope for a top 10. Yeah, that was gnarly. Hoping for a top 10, but if I don't, not a huge deal, because lots of very strong, fast drivers in here. Yeah, I missed last week's time slot in Atlanta, because I didn't know about the time change due. And uh, I couldn't bring myself to run it during the week. <laughs> yeah, Atlanta Super Speedway is not really my thing. I did a race, the audio got kind of messed up on it, and uh, didn't feel like racing it again because it was not fun. I don't like super speedways. <laughs> I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos, you know that. But uh, just did not feel like doing that a second time after the first one's audio got messed up. Yeah, one you know, of those races I watched Larry, Larry get taken out on the final lap, 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 like in the second place. Lap, 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 lap. I remember that. <laughs> I was trailing the ninth, not keeping up, and ended up in the fourth in that, so I got lucky. Get ready, going green. So it's car stalled? Oh, you better, you better just tell. You're going to give us all black flag. Let's see. Okay, go carry this. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. Guess we're going to allowed to do this? I don't know. Outside. You're on the bottom. I don't want to be three wide. Oh, look out. I'm not sure how that even happened, but I'm not interested in that happening. And I end up on his inside again. I really don't want to do that. But I don't want to waste time either. I don't want to be three wide, darn it. I swear I'm not trying to do this. I just had to get around that guy. He was going too slow. I kept accidentally getting out on his inside. This is interesting. Go low. Outside, clear. Outside. Go low. Still there, hold your line. Let's keep low. That was a virtual point eight. Still there, hold your line. Very close racing, very highly competitive as usual in the first time slot of the week here. Looseness going down there on the bottom line. I think that the whole bottom line got checked up there for a moment. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. I think it's only going to get harder to pass as time goes on. So I'm, I'm kind of not so 
worried that I'm kind of going a little faster than guys. Maybe I'm burning the tires off. Maybe not, but... I think I would like to be in front of them if possible. I'm not going to dive it in on the guy. Get on the right rear. You've just done a two one point nine. Good consistency. Keep coming. Getting held up a little bit. Maybe I need that. Maybe I need that for long run speed. Maybe I deserve to be held up. <laughs> Feels like I'm getting on the right rear pretty, pretty well. But thanks for not doing it. <laughs> that was a hell of a save, man. Holy cow. Still there, hold your line. It snapped out of nowhere. Keep low. Keep low. Yeah, I was right behind you and I really appreciate you your skill there. Thanks. Go low. Outside is clear. <laughs> Looks like we got around that guy. Feeling good moving forward, but that could easily reverse on us later, so. Decent. I could feel too proud until we get longer in this race. Gavin was following us up, it seemed like. He was behind us for a while. Let's see if he can get around the other guy as well. I don't know why no one else is taking the apron. Just seems like free time. <laughs> free time saved to me. Justin in first there with Larry on his tail. Yeah, car feels great. Really feels like I'm getting on the right rear well enough. Doesn't feel like it's slowing down much. Could hit a wall at some point, but for now it's feeling pretty darn good. Chicago Land's always so much fun. I really enjoy this place. Seventh place at the moment. Still lots of race to go. Still lots of movement through the field, I think, going to be happening. Comers and goers, still going to be seeing uh, who did a better job saving tires here pretty soon, I think. It's, uh, who's that? Lewandowski taking the highway? What it looked like there? I just glanced up near the exit of the corner. It looked like he was up there. Maybe it's time for that. I don't know. It feels like it's getting a little bit tighter. Still getting pretty good rotation. Driving it right on that edge. Hmm. 
Might be falling off. Not sure. Hard to tell at this point. Pushed a little bit. Felt like I might be headed toward the wall, but I'm okay. 14 looks like he's ready to get around me. I think he's going to get a run here and probably get around this time. That's okay. Inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. I'm not going to fight him for it. Just going to follow him. P8, your lap time was 32.7. Not sure my uh, idea of tire savings working out too well. I wonder if it's time to migrate to the top. I think I'm going to try... Well, no. I think the top is going to be really bad on the tires. Kind of did the... Uh, kind of the top there, unintentionally. I think I'm going to wait, though. I'm going to wait on going up the track. Even though I think it'll be fast right now, because I want to wait and not ruin the tires. I think I'll run the top once this race is a little bit later. Car ahead is order. Gavin's done a better job than I have saving tires. I think he might be getting around me here in a minute. Just gonna run behind him. I can see that he has done a better job saving. So I'm trying to get on the right rear, but I don't think I did a good enough job of it. I think I probably hurt the right front a little bit too much in the process. kind of hurt me at the moment, although we have three full seconds behind us. So, I am still feeling pretty good. All I wanted was a top 10. It's looking pretty good for a top 10 right now. Lap lap time was I am using a little bit of brake, so I'm glad I moved that back. Oh, wow, that got loose. I think I'm going to start doing uh, high line 1 and 2 now. Now that I felt that. It's interesting. Not sure what the tires are right now. I probably just wore both of them out really bad. We'll see how this feels. How's the runoff going to be? Is it going to be better to offset the slower corner speed? It looks like it. I think I'm going to do high line 1 and 2, low line 3 and 4. Because there are some bumps up in 3 and 4 that make the high line a little less viable in 3 and 4. But I'll give it a go here in 1 and 2. They are certainly driving away from me, though. That's unfortunate. All right, super tight. Now I'm just in no man's land. I got the guys ahead driving away. Got a big gap behind us. Great race, though. I haven't really seen anything. Any messes or anything. That actually was much better on the low side right there. That lap. 
So maybe I don't want to be doing high side one and two. Sure. I'm feeling like I might just be okay, ninth so fastest here today. And I feel like I'm drifting out of the corner. I'm not sure what the tires are trying to tell me right now, because it feels really tight on entry. Very, very tight on entry. Then once I get to right around there in the corner, it gets really loose approaching exits. So I think I'm just bad to all the tires, to be honest. Got in left to go. Try high line again. Other guys seeming to try that high line. Always a risk they can hit the wall. I can catch up to them, maybe. If that happens. Of course, I can be the one that hits the wall as well. So, can't let that happen. Hmm. Man, I'm struggling. Tire saving strategy did not work. <laughs> I think it's pretty safe to say. The approach I took, not so great. We'll do something crazy, see how the High Line 3 and 4 feels. I'm guessing not great. Yeah. It's just, it's a little harder to control up, up there. That lost me about a tenth compared to last lap. But worth trying, I feel. Mm -mm. Trying to push a little harder on this high line, see if I got anything, but... Nah, I think the tires are just uh, nice and roasted. If you smell burning rubber, that's what that is. It's my dang old tires roasting themselves on entry and exit. Get your s'mores. Get some marshmallows. The tires are on fire. Oh, goodness. Tight end, loose off. I don't know if that's exactly what I want here. Still feeling okay. Maybe I could hold on to the top 10, though. Probably could hold on to 9th, but I think that 6th might be on its way. I'm going to have to watch that gap. I don't see anyone else falling off as bad as me. Oh my goodness, that's almost like snapping on exit. That's pretty bad. Ugh. I did horrible things to the tires. Five. Five to go. Well, do we want to do the high line? Eh. It's, pre it's just pretty darn equal, to be honest. It's looking like uh, high line, low line, they're very similar. Gavin's trying to do slider on the guy ahead, it looks like. Couldn't quite clear him. It looked like he was trying to uh, drift up in front of him. They've got a good battle going on there, I think. But yeah, we are going to end this race with a, a nice second gap in front of and behind us, I think. It's probably where this is headed. Just kind of found our own pocket. But it is what it is. It's been a great race. Very clean. All you can ever really ask for. If I'm ninth fastest, then put me a ninth. It is what it is. <clears throat> it does look like it's really tough to pass. So I am glad I made moves while I could.
even though I ended up losing some more spots. In fact, I think I lost all of them, so what am I even talking about? I feel like I lost every spot I, I gained, probably overdriving. Yeah, real close to the wall, they're going for it. Let's see if we have any wrecks or anything, someone trying a big slide job move or anything. Coming to the white flag here in about half a lap. Here we go. No pressure behind. Nothing to go for ahead of me. I just gotta hope someone wrecks if I want more spots. Got something weird going on. Blue, orange. Oh, Gavin's having himself an exciting finish, I think. Is he gonna send it hard on the left side and try to clear him? not quite there. They're side by side. Is he going to cut the apron enough to pass it? Did he do it? Oh my goodness. What a finish. Great race, Mike. That was a lot of Seventh fun. place. Okay, it's over. Chicken yeah, flag. Who won? Larry. Larry won. Good job. Very good job. Great race to everyone else, too. That was really nice. Very clean. Good job. Yeah, that was a great clean race. Up, up, up. Yeah, that was good stuff. I'm happy with that. Wish it wasn't such a high line fest at the end. Yeah, really hard to pass. Gavin was right. <laughs> Very hard to pass. All right, we'll pull it to a stop. So, P9, we gained two spots from where we started. Very strong field, so a top 10 here. Like I mentioned at the start, I am very happy with that. Oh, that's what happened. That guy said he, uh, his engine turned off or whatever. It's because he was typing and hit the I key, which is ignition. What's our tires? Uh oh, this is going to be embarrassing. 56, 60! <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> it's like 10% worse than everybody else. So I just needed to calm the heck down. That's what I needed to do. I treat these races as sprints because they are like only like 35 laps, but that was a little bit too much of a sprint for me. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we will go check the incidents then, but I think it was probably a pretty darn clean race. Just checking some of the other tires. Good information to take in. Yeah, what was the start? How did we end up three wide? The six is like jumping the start and going up the middle. Oh, I know this guy. Yeah, that's not too surprising actually. So close to me, I'm like, all right, I'll take the apron. And then what happened to this, like, 19 got a horrible start. So then we end up three wide. I'm like, I don't want to be three wide. So I back out a little bit here. See, I lift off. We just kept ending up three wide, unintentionally. It kept almost getting around this 19. Like, here I'm three wide again. I was just running the low line. I'm not trying to be there. I get checked up on the top, and I'm like, I don't... And, like, here, I'm like, I just, I gotta go. I'm, like, the I'm the lead car of the three wide, so I'm just like, okay, I'll be three wide, I guess. I don't want to be, but I'll, I'll deal with it. I'll just hold my line and be very careful. It worked out, thankfully. Anyway, I'll do inc incidents for real now. So Shane, all the way to lap 31 is the first incident, and it's just Shane barely touching the wall on entry. 
and then the race is over. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this was a pretty darn clean race. There, we might, there might have been stuff that happened that we didn't see, but holy cow, like one wall hit and then something after the checkered flag and that's it. That's kind of insane. So uh, 4.2k strength of field showed its strength here today. I'm happy to be able to have pulled it into a top 10 and ninth place with so many fast guys in here. And uh, did everybody get 0x? We had one 2x, and that probably happened to the 15 whenever he had his uh, ignition problems at the start. Let's see what that looked like. Yeah, guys are waiting on him. Strange. So, he didn't get his 2x from that, but maybe he hit the wall later or something. But that's the only couple of incidents, the whole race, so that was a great one. Um, very professional race, very strong competition, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me rip my tires off of it trying to keep up with them. <laughs> my uh, my uh, attempt to get on the right rear didn't work out so well because of judging by my numbers here, I was also hurting the right front while being on the right rear, so I ended up just burning off both of them. So I think the approach would just be, you know, slow it down, be more gradual. And that would help out. Um, it worked at, uh, for example, Atlanta NK5 Championship yesterday. Being on the right rear kept the tires close by. And I still had the tires close by, but they were just so much more worn compared to anyone else. So I think the play would just be take it a little easier. Um, be on the right rear, but don't. Smack the throttle quite as hard, I think, is probably what I've learned. So, uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.